I'd like to give you five of my top tips for marathon running. Now, for those of you who have come to our annual event, the pre-marathon talk that we give, you've probably heard these before, so I apologise for that. For those of you who haven't, it will just give you a flavour of the sort of things that we can help you with before you do the marathon. My biggest tip is to make sure that when you go out and buy those pair of trainers that you're going to use for the marathon, treat yourself to two pairs. Because one mistake a lot of people make is they buy one pair of trainers and they wear them out. So when you get to the marathon day, two things happen. You're running in a pair of trainers that are worn out and aren't giving you the support that you need. Or secondly, you rip them or damage them the week before you're going to run the marathon and you end up running in a brand new pair of trainers, which is the worst thing you could possibly do. So treat yourself, get yourself two pairs and alternate them in your training program. So again, you're going into the event with two pairs of trainers that could be used on the day. Another tip is to when you're training and when you're running, particularly on the marathon day, be aware of the surfaces you're running on. Now, on the marathon day around the London Marathon, you are running around the roads. Now, most of you know that roads, uh, roads are curved, curved into the gutter, and we have this unique ability to want to run in the gutter. I don't know why, instead of in the middle of the road. Now, on the marathon day, it always is a blue line that gives you the, the shortest distance. But be aware of where you're running and where you're training. Try and make the surface you're running on as flat as possible. If it's on an incline, what you've got to remember is you're going to be running with one leg longer than the other. If you're going to do that for 26 miles, it's going to have an effect on your body. Low back pain, hip pain, knee pain, or ankle pain. So be aware of your running surfaces. Another tip is to hydrate yourself fully. Now, not by gulping fluids, but by sipping them slowly. I always tell people, the quicker you drink, the quicker you pee. So do it very, very slowly, continually. Get in the habit of when you're training of sipping, sipping, sipping. And again, get in the habit of picking the right fluid to drink. Water is life. Water is the best fluid you can have. But obviously there are sports drinks on the market, electrolytes will help you. But you don't need to be drinking ones that you're not used to on the day. So use your training to get in the habit of being able to run and sip and tolerate the different kinds of nutritional drinks that are out there. Warm up slowly and gradually while you're training. Don't go straight into your training program. Uh, stretch gently at, at the start but do more aggressive stretching when you're finished, when you're nice and warm and you're doing your recovery warm down. That will make your muscles more elastic for your next training session. Be able to train the way you want to train following your last training session. If you're in pain or you've overtrained, it means you're doing too much. And if you can't complete your next session, you won't train fully. So again, listen to your body. My last tip is on the day, it's a great event, you'll be full of adrenaline and you're all going to be wearing your brand new Brain and Spine Foundation t-shirts, shorts to tell everyone who you're running for. That's fantastic, but don't do it on the event day. Wear your clothes beforehand, break them in. Your clothes are no different to your training shoes, you need to break them in. If you don't and you wear your new t-shirts and shorts on the day, you're either going to get jogger's nipple where your nipples bleed, or you're gonna get frictional uh, irritation between your legs or between your buttocks. You don't want that, that is painful. So break your clothes in the way you break your trainers in and enjoy the day. The most important thing is to enjoy the event, enjoy the day. It is a fantastic occasion and the adrenaline will get you through. All these tips are to help it make it easier for you to get through to enjoy it more and have no pain.